Hello and welcome back. Okay, so our um we just did a Docker build, Docker build uh that's T tag and the name of the Docker image uh is microservices slash Kiane and at the current directly we, we represented that with dot. So now we have our Docker image built. So once it's done, you can see it's following the steps. The working directory it's copying the packet.json to the uh, current directory it does the npn install you can see it here then it copies all the code to the current directory exports an image after creating so immediately after doing that i did docker images and then i'm able to see the image you can see this is the kiani image but most importantly i also created a new file docker ignore dot docker ignore file you know when I was run, trying to build the image, it took longer time. So if you don't want it to take longer time, please make sure you create a Docker ignore file and put the node models there so that it doesn't push the load, use the node models to create the image. So this is similar to what you would have done when you're doing Git. If you want to push something to the GitHub, it's always good to create a Git ignore file. And put the node models there so that it doesn't take more time so that was why it was taking more time so every other thing is left the way they were so the only thing i did was because it was taking time and we stopped i quickly created a docker ignore file and inside is i wrote node models okay that's the only thing i changed but every other thing remains the same okay okay so that's what i did so how did i do i simply did touch dot docker ignore file so it created this docker ignore file here then inside it i simply went in and wrote node models and saved then i continued with the rest so now that i've created the image i just did docker images and i saw the other images plus the one i just created so this is the one i created you can see it's the latest image that three seconds ago just recently so i'm going to copy this image you can copy the image id either the image id or you can copy the name of the image if you want to run so in order to run this container i can simply say docker run then i put the image id or the image name so i can simply say docker run microservices slash q a or i put the image id which i just copied and put so once you do it then you'll be able to run this uh this very uh this very application the q a application so that's how you run so once you run it that means you're running a container so when you do docker ps again you can see running on port 80 8000 so that is exactly what is here listening on port 8000 you can see it so here um q a index.js file so this very file now is what is running now okay so i think i did not save it when i changed it to 801 if not it would have been saying listening at port 801 okay but that's not an issue so this file is now currently running so you can see it here but if you try to if i took ctrl c and i if i try to go to port 8000 i will not see this this very file so in order for me to see it the way to run it in order for me to see this uh application this container running i have to say i have to do what we call port forwarding so i have to say docker run at ports then i put the port where i want to be go where i want to go and be checking this out so let's say i put port 5000 then um, colon i put the normal port that i use for this application which is the port that i exposed in my docker file so you can see it's 801 so i can say um 8001 then now the name of the image so the image is microservice blah 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 but i can still paste the um the image id so it will still do the same thing okay so you can see now it's running again it's still same port 8000 because i didn't save that initial part but when i go to 5000 now i should be able to see this application so i can simply go to localhost 5000 so if i check localhost 5000 that means i'm checking 
the application being run by Docker and no longer uh, by normal local host. So Docker is running it at port 5000. So if I go to port 5000 now, okay, not up yet. Let me quickly check something. Um, okay, Control C. Since it's listening at port 8000, I think it's good I use that same port. Since I've not saved the 8001. Okay. So let me use this. This should work now. Okay, listening at port 8000. So if I now go to this. This should then lead me to where I want to be in. Okay, so you can see hello, welcome to the QA services. So I can also do slash ask. You know, that's the new endpoint that we added in order to see the JSON slash ask. You can see question what is the meaning of life? Answer 42. Okay, so you can see it's working well now. So basically, I need to, in order for me to get my 8001 reflected. I need to basically come here and save this file. I didn't save this file then. So if I save this file and rebuild the image again, then I should be able to get it to work at 8001. So let me quickly do that. So since I just saved the file, I can rebuild this image. So I do Ctrl C to get out of this. Then I want to rebuild the image. So in order for me to rebuild now, I can still go back to so this is the key and image so let me add up something so i can call it uh, version 2 okay so i'm building another image now microservice version 2 you can see this one is pretty fast it builds pretty faster than what i had before you can see it's almost done building so it takes from the base image specify the working directly copies the package does this so runs npi install to install the packages then copies the whole code to the current directly it's exporting the image now you see very fast it has finished building so if i now do docker images i can see the new image again okay so you can see now this QA version 2, this is the former one that I built, this is the version 2. Okay, so I can copy the image ID and use it to run it now. Okay, so mm -hmm. if I now do um, the same command that I gave, Docker build this tag at this very, this, this how I built out the image, and this is the command for the so now I can now use 801. Then this is the new image uh, ID. So I'm going to make this one run at port 7000. Okay. So I press the enter key to run this. So now you see now we are running how many uh, containers? We are running two different containers now. So I'm going to do Docker PS to see the two containers that we are running. But first of all, let this one get running. Okay, so you can see now it's listening at port 8001. Like I said, I didn't save this before. Now that I've saved it, it's now listening at port. This port here is supposed to be 8001. Okay, so if I now go to 7000, so this is actually the port I exposed. But I did port forwarding for me to be able to see it locally on port 7000. So if I go back now, this uh, local host the former one so if i come here open it up again and uh, i go to localhost this time around localhost 7000 i should be able to see my application there okay you can see localhost 7000 hello welcome to QA services then if i go to the other route which is slash ask then i should be able to see the json 
question what is the meaning of life answer 42 okay so this is working perfectly so that is how you run your container very very important the, the app is no longer running locally it's running on the docker it's running with docker it is now running on docker okay so um now if you want to see the running containers so if i press this plus in order to bring up another terminal because i want to check the containers that are currently running so if you want to check now you see that our one of our containers is running currently so i'm gonna quickly do docker ps in order to see the container that is currently up so you can see that i have this container up so this is the this is the current container that i'm running now because i did control c to close the former one so you can see that this one container is up and you can see when it was created so that is how you check the container that are running using the command docker ps okay so with that i'm gonna be uh stopping this in subsequent classes i'm gonna also be teaching you how to use docker compose to uh because you can see now this application q a is already dockerized so i have another application here the auth service is already dockerized too. you can see the docker file for the auth service here this is the docker file for the auth service so make sure you give them the print port numbers okay so i'm going to also dockerize all the other applications so you can see the microservices that i have the auth front end elements payments q a dockerize all of them then i'm going to create a docker compose file here that is going to coordinate the dockers of all the various microservices and harmonize them the way they should be when you're putting them on um, on a cloud platform like aws and um, in azure okay thank you please uh like and subscribe to my channel if you're visiting for the first time uh if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and uh, share and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section yeah thank you so you can see the this is the docker file for the other you can see the big Im image that we are building this docker file from it's pretty different from what we have for for this other one that we are just building from node version 2 but they are all working so those are different uh, ways you can use to write your docker file yeah thank you